Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends. It's Wickedy. I'm back with the Chickadee Farm, and I'm feeling much better. Thanks for all the well wishes. It's the 18th day of the second spring. <laughs> yes, yes. And it's Pam's birthday, but that's not the important part. Let's go check the mail in just a moment. Tomorrow's going to be sunny. Today is bats. Ugh. Living off the land says, talking about honey. Okay. I want to go and check the mail ASAP. So we can check some stuff out. All right, Robin sent us some wood. That was really nice. And Willie, the old boat is seaworthy once again, thanks to you. I really should get all my rights for free, but whatever. Like I say, maybe he charges other people more than me. 8 a.m. every day. Okay, we have our little beach totem just in case um, we need it. I've got to decide if I'm going to plant more cauliflower up here or not. Do I have the time for it? That's the thing. Let's check my calendar. Cauliflower. 16th. Okay, I don't have time to plant cauliflower. But anything after this we can do. Let's just do potatoes. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of potato seeds. And we only need 19. I'll take care of a little bit of chores and it is Pam's birthday today so I did kind of want to um, give her something. I might have a parsnip somewhere. We might see her on our way if I don't poof. I'm just saying hello real quick. Oh and our fish pond, our new one is ready. Of course, the day that I don't want to be doing a whole bunch of stuff around the farm, I've got a ton of stuff to do around the farm. Um, got some honey. Those are regular, so here's the thing. Like right now, it's wild honey. And if I leave it until the flowers are ready, then it'll be blue jazz honey. It's only the honey of the correlating flower when you harvest the honey. So that's when it determines what kind of honey it is. So if you ever have honey that's ready one day before your flowers, all you have to do is just don't grab your honey yet. That's fine. Just wait a day. Oh, and since we're going to be going on an island vacation, I do want to kind of dress the part. Okay. We are going to pop in this, which will give us a, a bikini top. Oh, I need another cloth, but I think I want to wear some shorts too. We're still going to keep the witch hat on, of course. Both white. <laughs> it's not going to work for me. Let's see if I have anything. Oh my gosh, I'm so pasty. <laughs> uh, let's see if I have anything that I can use to dye it with. Let's do some eggplants. All right, shirt and purple oh that's a good purple i think i only need to do it once let's do that and crayfish i'll make it gray not a very strong dye huh dyeing things can be fun would make it dark and that would also make okay I like that color and how about for the skirt perfect just what I wanted looking great these can all go be put away and it's 10 o'clock Ooh, let me grab something for Miss Pam parsnip just a regular one is fine all right Pam it's your birthday happy birthday to you. Yes, you do. <laughs> you do spend too much. I mean, at least you're working now. Parsnip for Pam. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, we got it. We got her. Okay, uh, poof to the, the ocean. Poof. Perfect. Hey, you Willie. Rare fish in these parts. Oh, okay. All right, Willie, I am so ready 
1,000 gold, not a problem. She looks good as new. <laughs> Yay, so excited. Shoes don't fully match, but that's fine. And we are on our way. All right, we are here. It's our very first time at Ginger Island. Yay. I'm so ready for... Ooh, what's right here? What's right here? Wild bait. I, ooh, and what's right here? What's right here? Tarot tubers and Omni Geodes. Sweet. <gasps> And it is that a bird? <laughs> sure doesn't sound like it. All right, let's go check that out. So exciting. Mmm, lots of good things in the jungle here. I love my first trip to Ginger Island. It's always the best. Fiddlehead ferns, my favorite. Of course, what's the first thing you do when you go to a brand new island? <laughs> Deforest the jungle. <laughs> and we have our very first golden walnut. Received a golden walnut. Sweet. If any of you have seen my guide before, I already know exactly where all of them are and how to get them all, including this whole stuff, but I'll show you a couple of things along the way. When dark clouds cry, begin your quest to seek the fabled gem birds for each day one north, south, east, or west. Arrange their gifts upon my door. Got it. We're gonna go ahead and eat some spicy eels so our speed boost lasts just a little bit longer. And go and check this place out. Hello? Can I come in? Yeah, you can have a walnut. <laughs> oh, I think he's scared. Boy looks at you with curious eyes. <laughs> Seems to have a close bond with the parrots. Okay. Maybe making friends with the parrots should earn his trust. I could do that. Easiest way is to make someone trust you is to feed them. That is our next first walnut. Or next walnut. Atop Fire Mountain. Okay, <laughs> it's going to be a while till I can get up that way. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a few more. Oh, hello. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Alright, this one needs 10. We can easily unlock that today if we focus. And my favorite mahogany trees. So, right here we have this one. Perfect. And then we have this circle right here. Always dig for any spot that you see looks a little bit weird. There's a fishing spot over there, which is pretty nice, but I'm not going to do that just yet. <laughs> and we have a little path right here. Not seeing any coconuts today. Right here we got a little spot. And ginger. I love ginger. Oh, what's in here? Um, looks like nothing yet. Gotta find a way to get to those. And we have a coconut. And a golden walnut. As well as another dig spot right here. We're at 10. So I can unlock the farm. Which I think 
is the next spot. Or not the farm, but unlock the way to the other side. To the west. There's a little path this way. And we're going to go down and over for this one walnut here. And I see those two, which is our next one. I brought a couple of chests with me. I do like to keep one outside of the volcano with like any gems and things. We are going to go ahead and do the first bit and get the walnuts over there. I might go and see what we have over here. I really kind of wish that I had my uh, slime charmer ring. All right, perfect. Off we go to this spot right here. One walnut and a two walnuts. Um, there is a fish spot that you can do over here or a fishing thing that you can do. Let's see if we can get it real quick. Yes, there's our secret squirrel. Oh, we got our first golden walnut from combat here. I don't think that's the one I need. No, I don't need that one. All right, I'm not gonna go explore the volcano today, or at least not yet until I have all of my pockets cleared out. I right now have just way too much stuff, but there's a ton of walnuts that we can get up there. I want to get that area unlocked soon, but the order is to get the, uh, the West Island unlocked first. There we go. We have 15 out of 10. Perfect. Poor turtle. I wish we could see more of the turtle here. <laughs> and then with that, we have... We need 20 for here. So, until then, I'm just going to put these chests here. One here, one here. And I put that one for green for seeds and things. This is for all the other stuff. Oh, perfect. The coconut on the coconut tree. We have... So there's a total of five golden walnuts that can come from the mussels. And that's the one thing I always feel like the last one. It, sometimes it takes a while for you to get all five. And so I have a way of keeping track. So we've got one. Let's see if we got any more today. Okay, just one golden walnut from that. So what I'm going to do is each time I get a golden walnut, I'm gonna place down a four piece right here just to keep track and count it. got inside of this boat here. Perfect. It looks like a face. <laughs> and right here, a dig spot. That was all the dig spots on this beach. Regular coconut. Okay. You can get this guy with a reaching <laughs> watering can. It's always fun. X marks the spot. And right here. Oh, we should talk to you. Hello. Oh, a visitor. Come closer. Oh, I don't wanna. To see which. Oh, actually, no, it's fine. We're the same. <laughs> Haven't had a visitor in many moons. Wait, so the parrot boy never comes and visits you? That's rude. Suppose now that you're here, I may as well ask you for, okay. Have you seen that? Yeah, I was just in there. There was a, a walnut in there. Oh. I've been here ever since. Guardian- ooh. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable. 
<laughs> Is his bones not enough of a keepsake? Here, take this. It's an old photograph that washed up on the shore. War Memento. We gotta check that out. War Memento. Oh, I know a soldier. Maybe the soldiers that we know might need that. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. We could try to rush home. But I do kind of want to see what else we can get. Here's a golden walnut. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get all 20 needed for the farm today. But we might get close. <laughs> Here's a coconut. No. There's a walnut. Now we gotta squish all of these. Yeah. Well, now that we unlocked the east or the west, perfect. Get one from those guys. So now that we unlocked the west, the birds to that one broken bridge are available. But if we can get the, yeah, we can absolutely get the farm done today. We can do that. So I don't have to spend the money to come back. That would be best. All right, we're at 20 and this is hard to see. I find it easier to see at nighttime. And then just shake all over. There we go. One o'clock. Doing great. Oh, they missed two, but there's one more over there that I missed. 22. And finish this. Yeah, repair the sleep hut. We can absolutely get eight more tomorrow to finish that other area. Perfect. Now I want to bring the ginger and keep those inside. All right, move this here. In the fridge, we keep mussels and ginger for now. And off to bed at our first night on the island. Yay. Tomorrow's going to be a very busy, productive day, too, because I do like to rush and get those walnuts done as soon as I can, at least enough to get everything unlocked. Oh, a baby pig. Yes. Gonna name this one Hamilton. All right, it's Friday the 19th. Oh, is it Shane's birthday today? I think his birthday's tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, we're good. We're good to stick around on the island today, which is what I'm going to do. I do want to get um, all the things planted that we gathered yesterday. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with this girl. You can go right there. I have a little friend here. Okay, this guy wants us to have five to get the mail over here. And now that we have the farmhouse unlocked, this area is open. Uh, who, you the farmer who tend uh, the land outside me house. <laughs> the land wants demon with fresh, fresh food. Uh, um, you wish to see it. Uh, I can't. And my, my English is broken enough. <laughs> the pink thing, the juicy thing. I don't have it right now, but I am working on that. I actually know all the things that we need. We're going to need some wheat, some garlic, and some melons. So, I brought the garlic and the melons. I don't have any wheat just yet, but we'll get there. I don't think I've kept any wheat, so... It might be a little bit until I can get that, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and check the farm, see if there's, or this farm, see if there's anything, see if we have any golden walnuts from the mussels. And I did miss one. Oh, I don't see any mussel nodes at all. There's one. No walnut, so we're not going to mark it. And the goal today is to get to our 10 walnuts at least so that we can go and unlock the area up north by that tent and then maybe go and explore the volcano a little bit that would be nice 
And of course, get a couple of things planted. Not a whole ton, but enough to get started. I need to get a slime hutch built so I can start gathering slime, uh, tiger slime eggs. That would be nice. I was hoping I could get like a, a mango sapling from one of these. This is the one that we missed yesterday. Perfect. And we're at three. And then now we're going to do my least favorite puzzle on the whole island. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not alone in that sentiment though. I literally have to, I have to pause and record myself <laughs> when I do this. Okay. Like, how? How? My memory is bad enough. I swear, if there's any more than this, I will rage. Purple. RR. Green. Blue. Purple. And blue. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. It's over. I hate this quest so much. Oh, so much. I can't. I like, ugh. Never again. <laughs> Until the next time. Okay, so we currently have six golden walnuts. Cool, cool, cool. We can go. Um, I need to gather four more to get to start getting the things that or the area unlocked, but I do want to build another chest. Oh, a note. Sweet. What's in this one? My ship is lost, shattered by a tempest in the unforgiving sea. Find myself stranded now on these strange shores. Oh. It's fresh water and abundance food to forage and fertile soil. That's probably where this hut came from. All right, let's place just a few um, sprinklers down. I usually like to have the iridium sprinklers over here, but it's gonna be a little bit until I can get those. <laughs> I need to work on getting batteries and stuff soon. Maybe we can just start buying some from Krovis. Now these will spread, actually, I, I feel like the, the weeds and everything on Ginger Island definitely spread a bit more aggressively than um, on the farm. <laughs> fine for now. I do also want to plant these tarot tubers wherever the tarot roots. I don't have very many of them, but I know that we'll get plenty as we explore. Now, I'm a big fan of pineapples. I love the pineapples, so I like to always have plenty of those. I also want to grow anything that takes a short amount of time to grow, which is kind of why I have all of these... Um, quicker seeds. The garlic seeds are quick. The parsnips are quick. And then we'll do beet seeds eventually. There's, I do believe it's five golden walnuts that you can get from crops. So this will help give us a good head start. All right, that's perfect. We'll kind of pop this in here. Any of the resources we'll keep in here. We can eventually bring them back home. I'll put in that in there too. And let's go finish doing some exploring. Ah, yes. I really want to get this area unlocked, but it's going to be a little bit until I can have enough golden walnuts for that and the other things that I want. It's better to work on unlocking areas where more will be. Oh, perfect. A golden coconut. Just what I always wanted. But before we unlock things like the trader, it's better to unlock the other stuff. I mean, you can still unlock them first and get here eventually, but this gives you access to um, more areas. So that's gonna be the better bet when we have the 
have the walnuts for it. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna save those in here and save anything that we're not gonna bring with us right now. Um, I don't think I need my hoe up there or that. That. And we don't need that in there either. This is def this is a definite. Just do a little exploring and see if we can get some walnuts today. Hello. Ooh, a note. Perfect. I won't go hungry. The waters are full of edible, nay, delicious fish. Even caught a stingray in the caves. This is nice. It'll tell you exactly where to get the stingray and that you can get golden walnuts from fishing, which we will do another day. Oh, yes, this is what I want. Kind of wish that I had brought some bombs with me. Mm, so many, so many lava thingies, magma thingies, whatever they're called. A golden walnut, perfect, and our very first dragon tooth. Oh, and it looks like a magma cap is over here. My favorite, love these. Come on, lava lurk. The lurker, it's creepier than I am. Well, let's pop on a coffee also so we can go twice as fast. Kind of hoping to find a chest of some sort. Perfect. Walnut. Oh, and this guy, which is usually kind of hard to get. Oh, that's chaos. All right, we made it to level five. I did not hit my goal of 10 walnuts today though. Oh, right. <laughs> I haven't learned. I still haven't learned Dwarvish yet. I can't believe that. Oh, this place has a chest, so we'll get that hopefully before we pass out. Oh, sweet! The hot Java ring. Um, I'm going to. Do I want to pass out here? Or do I want to pass out at home? I guess passing out here is fine. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> All right, I am feeling the island vibes for sure right now. I'm really happy that we found this hot java ring. That might be nice to play around with later, but maybe not keep on all the time. I do still like this luck ring. Um, let's play some stuff in here. Okay, so today is the 20th, which means it's Shane's birthday, so we are gonna have to head back to the farm and to Pelican Town today. I don't wanna. <laughs> Usually when I hit the island the first time, I like to spend like a good week here, just getting myself acclimated to everything, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Put some stuff away. Okay, Saturday. Let's go ahead and pop on some coffee. Go check the mussels, see if there's anything that we can get here. I didn't get the 10 walnuts. I still need one more. So maybe we'll get lucky with those mussels. Oh, there's a coconut. And just one mussel no today. And it's a no. Now something else we could be doing is fishing. Oh wow, look, all the crabs are out today. I left, okay. I was gonna say, I need to grab my fishing rod, but I left my fishing rod up by the volcano. Let's go ahead and put these all away. Maybe we'll find another note or something. Oh, perfect. Just what I was looking for. Uh, another half month at this island. I've learned a thing or two about finding walnuts or golden nuts. Yes. I think we found pretty much all of them that are around this way anyways. Okay, let's go and get our fishing rod and take care of some stuff up north. Do you want to keep an eye out for any dig spots? Doesn't look like any today. Just one more walnut, please. 
Let's see real quick if we can get one from in here. Oh, perfect. All right, we're gonna head on out since we have our 10. Don't want to spend the day in the volcano today. I mean, I always do, but I want to get this area unlocked. It's 12 o'clock, we got this. Was it third day on the island? Yeah. We are going to keep cinder shards in here, as well as any of the gems that we find. And this hot java ring. And time to unlock the other side. <gasps> oh, over here, someone's calling for us. We better get that taken care of. I'm stuck. Don't worry, I got you. But first, let me make sure that we don't accidentally blow this up. Okay, I have. We might have to use a bomb. Try something else. Got it. Okay, let's do this. I can make a cherry bomb. Did it. Perfect. Oh, hello. Thank you. I thought I was done for. I've been stuck in this cave for months. Who are you? One more cave, mushroom, salad, and I would have gone off the deep end. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Although the mushrooms sound pretty good. I'm Professor Snail. That is quite the name. I've been conducting a survey of this island's flora and fauna for the last year. Oh, that's nice. I think I'll go back to my tent and freshen up a bit. <laughs> I will stop by. Everybody just wants to know what they can use me for. I see how it is. We're going to keep a chest. Let's see. Let's keep it right there. This is where I'm going to keep all of these stones and ores and stuff. So that they're not filling our pockets too much. Oh, and I see a panning spot right here. It's also where we're going to do a bunch of fishing. Hopper and... Okay. So it's probably not the best of luck today. Snake skull, perfect. And let's see what's in here. Gold ore. This is like one of my favorite places on the island. Just something nice about having a good steady supply of clay. Ooh, and a note and let's get this first. Coal and iron, okay. Oh, perfect. A spot to dig up. We'll get there eventually. We're gonna finish clearing this area up and then we're gonna head back to Pelican Town. All right, so all of the bones that we gather, the fossils that we're gonna need are gonna be held in here. Oh, what was that? Where was that? Where was that? There it is. Just some copper ore. This river is so rich with Canning spots. Oh, it's really hard for me to say no to one of those things because there is one fossil that we really need and you can only get it through panning. Which is why I also like to do all my fishing for walnuts over here too. Okay, we have this spot right here. One walnut and right here Two. I want to grab some ginger. And then under through the tunnel, we've got the last two. Oh, a diamond and a lucky ring. It must be a lucky day, actually. Let's go visit Professor Snail. Hey, buddy. Ah, come in. Okay. I will. 
think I will. <laughs> Welcome to the field office. As you can see, it's quite... Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. Oh, poor guy. Or, oh, I should have checked the cave. I don't think I did. I'm in the bone business, you see? Ancient bones in particular, and this island is full of them. Ah, uh, yeah, I can do that. I've got a few outside, but I left them there. Okay, so I already know the answer to this survey. Purple flowers, we have on the island a total of 22. Yay! And for purple starfish, I really think Concerned Ape must really enjoy the color purple or something. We have six, or <laughs> that many. I don't have anything to donate right now. We do still need to get a mama fried frog too. I'll put this in here and we'll put that in there. Let's poop home in like an hour. I want to do just a little, little bit of fishing here. And just check the mushroom cave real quick. Ooh, we've got some great mushrooms. Oh, and those are all going to be iridium quality too, which is so great. Fish here until we hear um any panning spots. Oop, there's one. And we got our first fishing walnut. And I'm going to mark that too. Blue discus, first new fish and a diamond and an earth crystal. Oh, and our pockets are full. Well, it's 820. I'm gonna just try for one more walnut or fish or canning spot. Um, Iridium, okay, we'll keep the Iridium toss the set. And that's about it. All right, time to poof right back home. I'm gonna drop all this stuff off and then we are going to, oh, I hope my animals don't feel too neglected. <laughs> then we gotta go give something to Shane. He should be at the saloon today. We need to get a dwarf scroll so that we can talk to that dwarf in the volcano. So maybe, maybe I should have gotten that taken care of already. Oh, well should have a golden pepper somewhere. Oh, Demetrius sent me a rainbow shell. How nice. Tomorrow is going to be sunny and on the island also sunny. Okay. And a pepper for our birthday boy. Oh, I totally forgot. Uh, Kent had wanted us to give him something and I never got around to it. Rude of me. How rude. Shane, Shane, Shane. Are you going to be in the saloon? You should be in the saloon. Herring for Willy, probably not gonna happen. Hey, oh, and Kent is here. Actually, let's go ahead and take care of Kent. Jody tells me you've really become a, oh, that's nice. Um, Kent, we have this war memento. This is for you. Where did you find this? Ah, uh, this man, we fought together in the war. He was like a brother, Oh. Oh, that's sad. He never lost his courage, though. Of course. Wait. Does Kent just, like, keep this in his pocket? It's like, this has been sitting in the cupboard forever, but I keep it in my pocket. Okay, so we have the gourmet tomato salt. Of course, it's going to go to our chefity chef, who loves... Gourmet cookie thingies. <laughs> that sharp smell. Slurp, slurp. That zest. <laughs> it's salt. Why is it? Sl why is he slurping? <laughs> or maybe that's his drool. All right. And this reminds you of the valley. So that's not going to be for Emily. That's absolutely going to be for somebody else who loves flowers and loves remembering the valley and isn't living here. So 
If I could just reset my life and start a chicken farm. Oh, okay. Um, this is for you, Shane. Yay! And eight out of eight with Shane. That means that we can get um some stuff taken care of with him. Hey, Willie. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, how about cheese, Willie? Yeah, of course. Marty, uh, you have a cheese too. Yeah. Anytime. I guess we'll head on back to the house. Um, drop a bunch of stuff off. I'm gonna put this over in the box by the bus stop so I remember where it goes to. I feel like it's very obvious that this is for Sandy. She's the one who loves the flowers. I wonder how my South Field is doing right now. Still doing okay. Fiber seeds are doing good. Mm, got a gold and an iridium. I wonder if I'll ever get around to giving that frozen geode to these fish here. <laughs> Am I gonna pass out? I'm gonna pass out today, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> of course I am. <sighs> we sold a lot of good mushrooms, which is awesome. Those sell for quite a bit. Oh my gosh, we just did so much over on Ginger Island. I'm very happy about that. Well, friends, that's going to be it for this episode of the Chickadee Farm. I'm Wiggity. Thank you so much for hanging out in the valley with me or the tropical valley with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.